Hello everyone, and welcome to Ant Sleep. My name is Tommy Likatezi. I have the pleasure of hosting OBGYN, Dr. Natasha Fiev. Today we'll be discussing menopause and sleep. Dr. Fiev, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So what hormonal changes do you see in women going through menopause? Well, when we think about menopause, which is affectionately known as the change of life, we notice that there are decreases in the hormones such as estrogen, progesterone, and primarily testosterone. Yes, women have testosterone too. <laughs> now these changes result in different physiological signs and symptoms that can cause sleep disturbances and different things that bring them into the office for evaluation. So what are some of the symptoms of women in menopause? Well, when it comes to menopause, women will complain of headaches, mood swings, sweating, which is known as hot flashes or flushes. They'll also have a lot of trouble sleeping. So oftentimes that will bring them into the office for evaluation of all the symptoms, but they do hone in on the sleeping component as well. So it sounds like the symptoms of a woman going through menopause as well as the symptoms of sleep breathing disorders are pretty similar. How likely is it that somebody uh, or a woman that is going through menopause will develop a sleep disorder? Well, it's highly likely, but it's highly underdiagnosed because women just associated with this is what happens when you go through menopause. And so they don't take the necessary steps to find out if there is an actual sleep breathing disorder going on. So what would be the reason why the likelihood of sleep disorder breathing would increase, um, you know, menopausal women? So with menopausal women, due to the changes in the hormones, as well as the increased weight gain that's associated with menopause, that can be one of the risk factors for sleep breathing disorders such as obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, and what are some of the steps that women can take um, if they have, are having these symptoms and want to get tested or, or treated for sleep apnea? Well, the first thing is reach out to your healthcare provider. Discuss what's going on with you. If it's the hormones that are really causing the disturbance, we can give you add back therapy to help with that. If it's a situation of the weight gain that's causing the obstructive sleep apnea or any sleep disturbance, then we've got to get a partnership going because we're going to have to talk about a little bit of diet and exercise because you got to help me to help you. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can combat this issue. A lot of people don't talk about it because they think it's normal, but it may not be normal for you. Once that occurs, we refer the patients out for sleep testing. So they have to also buy in and understand the changes that go on in your body and how it can be detrimental over time and that we can help with it. There are lots of non-invasive ways in which we can assist with this, such as the oral appliance therapy or even CPAP. All right, great. Thank you for coming on to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, that completes this episode of Anne's Sleep, a whole you social talk show series with Dr. Fiev. We encourage you to explore the rest of the episodes and visit wholeyou.com to learn more about sleep breathing disorder treatment. The sleep professionals in this video series teamed up with Whole U to spread healthy sleep education across America and were paid for their appearances.